What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Crypto Airborne in the house, dropping you guys the latest and greatest cryptocurrency news and updates. Today's September 18th, 2024. Today's video will be doing a crypto market overview. We got some Fed rate cuts finally. After the last four years, we got Bitcoin news. We got CKB Nervous Network. We got some things that I want to share with you guys that nobody's talking about, which could potentially pump it up even more than it already is. And we're not even in the bull market yet. If you, if you think it's interesting, stick around, and I'll tell you all about it. All right, everyone. Hopefully, you guys are all having a great day today. I sure am. If you guys don't mind, before we begin, smash that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing if you aren't, and turn on those bell notifications so you get notified as soon as I upload a video. Easiest thing you guys could do to help support the channel. And also, if you want to skip to whatever section of this video, I do put timestamps within my video and also in the pinned comment down below so you can just click on whatever area that you guys want to listen to, all for your viewing pleasure. All right, so today was kind of a big day for the macro, economics in general, the United States. Uh, we had Fed rate cuts. We have not had rate cuts in over four years. We're going to talk all about that. Uh, we also got some big Bitcoin news and then CKB Universe Network got some crazy things going on with them that nobody's talking about. Potential announcement tomorrow, depending on when you watch this video, uh, with the Bitcoin Lightning Network and, you know, them trying to be a Bitcoin Layer 2 solution. So stick around to the end of the video for that one. But uh, let's do a quick market overview right now. We'll jump right in it. So current crypto market right now, let me just refresh it. Looks like it's neutral right now. Up about 0.41% the last 24 hours. We got Bitcoin up about 0.59%, sitting at about 60,720. Ethereum's up about 0.03%, sitting at 2,341. Uh, we got BNB's up about 1.17%. Solana's down about 0.25%. So it seems kind of neutral, uh, even given the, the the rate cut news today. Top gainers the last 24 hours. We got Zeta Chain up about 31%. Blur up about 13.11%. Sitting at 20 cents. And Coin98, no idea what that is, up about 11.15%. Sitting at 13 cents. Let's take a look at the losers the last 24 hours. We got Augur down about 11.22%. We got Assemble AI down about 7.43%. And the Origin Trail down about 6.93%. Sitting at 49 cents. Today is September 18th, 2024. It is National Cheeseburger Day. That's a big one right there. Getting a lot of shares. Love my cheeseburgers. Uh, just a question for you guys, though. What kind of cheeseburger do you guys like? Do you just like the regular, you know, beef, all beef patties? Or do you like to kind of change it up a little bit like me? I like kind of the buffalo burgers or elk burgers or some type of different uh, wild animal. Um I don't know. Let me down in the comments below. But love burgers, bacon. Oh man, that looks good. I'm hungry. I didn't eat dinner yet. Uh, let's take a look. Other holidays we got: National Day of Civic Hacking, National First Love Day, a bunch of other random holidays that nobody cares about or even knew about. But that's why I do these on every single one of my videos. National Respect Day and U.S. Air Force Day. Nice one. Veteran myself. So shout out to my fe well, not fellow. Uh, I was in the Army, but Air Force veterans out there for U.S. Air Force Day. Cool. Birthdays, we don't care. All right, let's jump into Crypto Bubbles Top 100 right now. Obviously, it looks like a, more of a sea of green. We got CKB up there in the back in the Top 100, currently looking at 78. Again, depends where you guys look at. CoinGecko might be a little bit different than CoinMarketCap. I don't know exactly where Coin Bubbles pulls it, but I do believe that's right. Uh, let's take a look at my favorites. CKB's been crushing it over the past week. We're up 103%. Crushing it on the day, up 6.8%. Currently looking at about a 0 0.0177 cents. Everything else is looking good too. Bitcoin's up. ICP's up 1.7. Elrond, uh, Multiverse X up about 1.1%. So good to see all my favorites doing well the last 24 hours. I uh, think it's not going to update for another hour. Well, because of the recording of this video. Uh, but fear, we are now at 45. Yesterday, we were at 33. Fear today, probably not much of a change. We might be neutral territory, maybe go up a couple points, but uh, probably when I upload this video, we'll find out here shortly. But uh, fear and greed index. Be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. All right, so the stock market reacting to the 50 base basis points, rate cuts, 
Uh, looks like the Fed slashed interest rates by half a point, aggressive start to its first easing campaign in four years. I got something really good I want to share with you guys, kind of looking at historical data, comparing the S&P 500 to the historical rate cuts and what happened within the last 20 years, 40 years. It's a lot of people thinking that, oh, yo, it's you know going to boom up the market, traditional uh, markets, the crypto markets, and then we're just going to have a, a recession. Uh, but that's not always the case, so just stick around here shortly. I'll share with you guys on that one. Looks like Dow Futures are doing pretty well for tomorrow. Total crypto market cap, we're at about $2.05 trillion right now. Kind of looks like we've just been bouncing in and out of this uh, bull flag. Kind of looks like we have going on, so that's historically a bullish pattern. Not quite sure where we're going to go. We can continue to the upside, uh, you know, going to the election year into the bull run. I always say kind of kind of feeling like we're getting the September 18th, 2020 vibes uh, right before the bull run kicked off in January of 2021. So just good pattern overall for the total crypto market cap to be in right now. All right, so the DXY, the US dollar currency index, this is the four-hour chart here. I got this red horizontal pattern, which is historically a huge support or resistance depending on where the DXY is. Now, at least in the forward time frame, it looks like we're below that. So uh, if you've been following me for a while or if you just stumbled across this video, the last bull market, we were hovering in between about an 89 to about uh, a 90, I do want to say. Let me just verify again real quick. I always, I'm terrible with numbers. But uh, if we go back to like the last bull run, this is basically the dip. So January 2021, you guys can see the DXY started to drop, and then that's when the crypto market traditional markets we had we went into our bull run so we could say uh let's see do, 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 do. so yeah january 2021 we were at a 90 on the dxy and then it slowly kind of went basically all of 2021 was the bull run uh so between 90 and 95 and the dxy i say if we get down there yeah, and we're in the bull market hey things are looking good um, and then the bear market, obviously, we had basically from January 2022 all the way up until just recently. Um, that's kind of where we had the DXY. So just kind of keep an eye on those levels. We're below this horizontal line, so it's going to be a nice little resistance right here at that 101 level for the DXY to break through um, if it tries to you know, back test and retest that horizontal line. So just something to think about. All right, so this is a good chart uh, that this CryptoCon guy put together. And they're saying that, you know, after rate cuts, at least within the last 20 years, you guys can see here, uh, back here in 2000, we went down 42%. Back in 2007, we went down 57%. Basically, to, went all the way to the upside. And then back in 2019, we had some rate cuts, but then we had the black swan COVID of March 2020 uh, to today, where we just had the rate cuts. Who knows what's going to happen? And then there are also other times in history, like back in 1984, 1984, we had 122% run to the upside. Back in 89, we had a small 16% run up. And then one of the largest, obviously, in 1995, we had this huge run up of 200% on the, the S&P 500. So just looking at data, you know, the last 20 years have been pretty bearish after we had rate cuts. And then his reasoning is just basically because uh, the last 20 years were paired with unsustainable growth from the 1995 and 2000 uh, extreme borrowing during the 2008 housing crisis. The market had a full and healthy reset in 2022. Recession and doom predictors will never make it over time. So again, rate cuts don't always mean it's a bearish sign when you go back and look at history. Different times, different macroeconomics, we're going into election year, just a bunch of different things to look at, but i like to show you guys some data because history tends to repeat itself. And with the most recent rate hike that we just had, uh, 50 basis points, you know, who knows what's going to happen. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think the market's going to go uh, with the most recent rate hike. All right, so jumping into Bitcoin right now real quick. We're up about 1.2% the last 24 hours, looking at about a $60,815 Bitcoin, a $1.2 trillion dollar market cap. Not going to get into too much technical analysis, but we are in this bull flag. Right now, we've been basically been bouncing off this top, trend, top and bottom trend line. Most recently touched off of it on the 6th of September. 
uh, kind of just in the middle right now. So this, again, this chart looks similar to the total crypto market cap. This is historically a bullish pattern. Uh, the next couple of months could get crazy and leading up into the next year. Uh, just have to wait and see. And But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for the price action uh, there. A little bit more charts, analyzing history. The Bitcoin bull market should be starting in about 15 to 20 days. According to Crypto Rover here, you guys can see back here in 2016, back in 2020, kind of where we're currently at now since the halving that we had previously in history, you know, could get crazy. So it's just something to look at. Another thing, uh, if some of you still think Bitcoin is going to break out of this giant bull flag to the downside that we're in, please at least don't short it with leverage. I believe we're going to break out of this chop consolidation soon. This guy's next targets are 85, 95, and 105. You guys can see the uh, the bullish bear pattern, uh, bull flag pattern that we're in right now, kind of chopping up and down to where we currently are at. Who knows if we're going to you know, go all the way up, touch it, come back down, just keep extending out to the end of the year. Just something to think about. All right, some Bitcoin news. If you guys are just stumbling across this, we had Donald Trump using Bitcoin to pay at a bar in New York. So you could take this with a grain of salt. A lot of, people, a lot of, a lot of people were giving it hate, saying that the other guy had to grab his phone and do it for him. It wasn't very user-friendly, user and Trump probably didn't know what the heck he was doing. But hey, the fact that a presidential, a former president and presidential campaign is doing this, you don't see Kamala Harris doing any of this stuff. This is historical for Bitcoin uh, in the crypto community in general. I'll just play kind of a short clip so you guys can see. Scan this QR code here with this phone if you want to take that from him. Scan that QR code right here. Right there, right there. That one. Refresh the QR the guy just scanned a QR code. Like <laughs> All right. This guy back here is watching everyone like a And fantastic, it went through. <laughs> they did it. But yeah, that's basically it. So, I mean, you know, that's bullish. And then he, you know, starts walking out and then someone asks him about the rate hikes and all that type of stuff. But uh, this is, apparently this was some bar in uh, in New York City. Uh, I, I don't know what. I think he bought a burger or something like that. But uh, yeah, that's pretty big news. All right. And other Bitcoin news. Shout out to Digital Asset News. Actually interviewed him on my channel back when I had like five, 600 subscribers. Who knows, maybe this next bull run I'll have him on and we can just talk about uh, all what happened the last couple of years and whatnot. But uh, he's got like, yeah, three, 400,000 subscribers on YouTube. And uh, I was very grateful that he came on my Nobody channel. But uh, he's saying, well, 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 look who's the first to accept Bitcoin via the Lightning Network and stable coins for residential payments. Louisiana. Did not have that in my on my bingo card. So yeah, that's pretty crazy news. First state to accept crypto via the Lightning Network. So who knows, maybe it'll have a domino effect to other states. So again, more bullish news for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency adoption in general. All right, so let's jump into CKB, Nervos Network, who's been absolutely crushing it lately. Again, depending on where you look, I think Coin Market Cap has it at like 74, 75. This is Coin Gecko has it at about 89, um, t or number 89, up about 8.4 percent. We have a market cap of just over 801 million, trading volume 662 million. Why is it pumping? It was recently listed onto Upbit, which is South Korea's largest crypto exchange. Excuse me. Uh, you can go down here. You can see the volume. Uh, the last 24 hours, I screwed this up last time. I just put, let's view everything, volume, up it. The number one exchange. So everything, what is going on with South Korea, uh, Asia, man, trading volume, 362 million. 50, it accounted for 54% of the total volume for TKB Universe Network, followed by Binance at about 14%, then Gate.io, uh, Bytrue, Bitrue, but yeah, all these other you know foreign exchanges. Because uh, right now in, in the United States of America, you can only 
I do believe get it on crypto.com. Not on Coinbase yet. It's not on Kraken yet. It's not in Gemini yet. So we don't have all the U.S. mass adoption of CKB Nervos Network, in my opinion. I still think we're early. Lots of things coming for CKB. Uh, I got some stuff I want to share with you at the end that nobody's really talking about. But uh, there should be announcement tomorrow with more details. We'll get to that here in a second. All right, a little bit of technical analysis. Uh, CKB Nervos Network's been in this massive falling wedge for quite a while that we've now actually broken out of, which is good to see. I do want to note some uh, massive key points of resistance here when actually going back all the way to uh, January of 2022. Uh, basically right here around this 9.019 level, we have some resistance right here. Uh, and then also up, here, let's see... Yeah, basically right around from the 0 0.0169 all the way to about the 0.19318. We've kind of been bouncing off, we kind of shed right through that here uh, just the other day at the two, just over the two cent level, but uh, it's been a little choppy. But there's a lot of resistance here at the 0 0.021. You can see historically when you go all the way back to 2021. So, yeah. Got to break that. If we could break that, we'll definitely hit to the you know mid two and a half cent, three and a cent, three uh, three cent range. So, just something to look at. All right, CKB uh, news right now. They are currently at uh, Bitcoin Singapore Token twenty forty nine. They do have a booth. If you guys are out in that neck of the woods, we got uh, booth M two thirty five. Meet the team. Grab swag. Uh, September nineteenth, Bitcoin Singapore Lightning returns. Uh, just a whole bunch of different things going on there, so it's good to see that they have a booth there. Big announcement here. CKB Fiber Network Protocol Test Net full version is now live. Cypher Wang here saying that's one small step for CKB, one giant leap for crypto. Stable coins on Lightning will become true in months. Using RGB or Taproot assets for stablecoin. It's coins with RGB++ protocol. So Joy ID Passkey is going to be one of the first uh, wallets that is going to help support this. They did announce support for Bitcoin and CKB Lightning Network and introduced the stablecoin payment. Not going to really get into too much details here, but if you guys do want to pause it and read the details, feel free to do so. But again, Joy ID Wallet is going to be supporting the Bitcoin and CKB Lightning Network stablecoin payments. This was interesting. Didn't really see anyone talk about this. This is from CKB underscore fans. Go give him a follow. He's probably there at Bitcoin Singapore. Took a picture of this laptop that says 55 box. I was like, what the heck is that? No idea what that is, but you can look. If you can kind of see closely here, you got Bitcoin, you got CKB. So I started to do a little bit of research on it. I found their page tiny. They only got 68 followers. They're pioneering the future, unveiling the new era of Lightning Network hardware, becoming independent infrastructure through Phi 5. So I was like, what the heck is this? So apparently Daniel Hu, this guy is the founder of Phi 5 Box, and he is going to be speaking tomorrow at Bitcoin Singapore uh, at whatever time that is. I don't know what that is in the United States, but we'll probably definitely hear something tomorrow. He is a seasoned blockchain expert. He's been uh, at the helm of major blockchain projects, driving up innovation from the ground up. They're going to talk about hardware infrastructure based on the Lightning Network and explore the future of the Lightning Network. So we got this announcement tomorrow. Probably get more de details about Daniel uh, Hugh in this Phi, Phi box. Went to their website, checked it out. Uh, so you can use Phi5 to run your own Bitcoin node and CKB node and use Lightning Network more efficiently and independently. You can become an independent infrastructure through Phi5. Multi-node support. Independently run Bitcoin full node, light node, CKB full node, and a light node network. Low thresholds. Make joining Bitcoin network and CKB network no longer out of reach, plug and play, and maintenance free huge this is just further details these are further things that are going to be advancing ckb nervos network becoming a bitcoin layer 2 solution high performance so we'll get into the specs here shortly here is the 55 box super chip next level performance 
Uh, now uses Intel N100, 4-core CPU, 16 gigabytes DDR4 RAM, 2 terabytes of SSD storage, Wi-Fi, and Ethernet cable. So it looks like they got two different uh, models to be determined, it looks like. One with an 8, one with a 16. So just different, basically like a computer. Uh, you get to choose. It has a 5, 5OS a geographical operating system. This is kind of like what it looks like. This kind of goes back to the uh, the picture here that uh, he shared earlier. Easy operation. Provide desktop components to make income and status clear. Pre-installed Bitcoin, CKB, and other network services to make connections less complicated. Easy management. Tor, remote access Bitcoin node, Bitcoin Lightning node. Uh, intuitive user interface, blah, 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 blah. You can choose to install different applications. So again, this is huge. Haven't heard anyone really talking about this, but we should definitely get some more details about this. And this is bullish news for the Bitcoin Lightning Network and CKB Neuros Network. Definitely excited to hear uh, more details on that one. So that's going to do it for me, guys. It's a little bit longer video, more like my 20-minute longer videos that I usually have. But uh, go give me a follow on X, uh, Twitter, whatever you guys still call it nowadays, at crypto underscore airborne. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing if you aren't. Turn on the bell notification so you get notified as soon as I upload a video. And let me know what you guys think about where the Bitcoin market, crypto market, is headed. You think we're going to go up a little bit before we go down? I mean, just take a look at basically what I just was talking about with the uh, S and P 500 price action based off the rate cuts. You know, the last 20 years we've been in the negative, but if you go back even further, we've been positive. So it's just literally like rolling the dice curveball. Who knows what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Let me know down in the comments. Again, none of this is financial advice. I'm just some dude on the internet and, uh, you know, this is my passion. So again, thanks for being here guys. Tune into the next one. Crypto airborne out.